Hey folks, Jenner Morgan here and looking today at the AVA Atomizer, all USA made from InnoVapor.com. These are supposed to be machined from a single piece of American made brass and electroless nickel plated for non-corrosion. Um, it's supposed to use US sourced resistance wire. It's supposed to be more, more durable than the nichrome stuff used in our atomizers from China. Medical grade ceramic coil stabilizations, high temperature insulation, bushing, solid mechanical context, and uh, no bottom hole for unnecessary leakage, which also makes it work with a bottom feeder for me, so I'm kind of missing that piece at least. But anyway, um, let's take a detailed look. So let's take a look at the AVA low resistance atomizer from innovapor.com sealed bottom. I'm not going to be able to use this on bottom feeders. Nice little silicone ring around that. One air hole on each side. It is a much thicker metal than most of the atomizers we see. And they make it, uh, they have a special drip tip that they used to do with the Apex Alpha that they fit into here. It's really not going to fit inside most things you might use it or it's not going to go on bottom feeders. It's pretty much kind of a dripping Addy, only I can't put a drip shield on it. Now you can see in there, there is a ceramic bit onto which the juice flows around. Look on with our mighty microscope. Nice ring seal there on the connector around the positive post. And air holes, clean threads. It almost looks like there's something behind the air holes a little bit because on this one if I roll it a little bit I can kind of see behind it on the other one see you can sort of see through but there's some kind of white material there too and then there's the ceramic piece that's on the top through which I cannot see the coil and as much as I love all you people I'm not ripping open a $50 atomizer quite yet just to see what's underneath Maybe if it dies, but uh, the juice seems to hit that ceramic coil and go around. I don't know if it's touching on the bottom and pulling it straight from the ceramic or the ceramic is just dripping through. It is a little hard to tell. But you can see there's kind of a ledge there just above the ceramic. That So that's the details as far as I can see them on the AV atomizer. I'm sorry, I'm not ripping under the ceramic to see what's there quite yet. Maybe I'll have to do a follow-up if or when it dies. Um, I'm, as you can see, I'm wiping up a mess because I am a horrible dripper. I overdrip. It's chronic. I'm a chronic overdripper. Um, so I was leaking. And you don't want to leak in your Darwin because that's just bad. Uh, for me, it, the taste on it is very, very clean. Every juice that I've put in it, I've noticed some subtle notes that I haven't noticed on any other atomizer. The only other thing that comes as close to being that clean for me is the Apex Alpha with its ceramic um, juice container reservoir system and uh, a rebuildable atomizer like the Odysseus or the IATI. Something about the clean and, and not having the wicking in there and all that kind of stuff just makes the flavor really clean and not muted at all. Vapor isn't terribly impressive. Uh, this is just a standard... Uh, backwards brew it's not bad it does better on some juices than others um, they say in the instructions that you have to break it in and boy are they uh, right for the first uh, I don't know I want to say three hours or so it had a horrible aftertaste that was almost like um, dry addy and then it went away. Um, it still takes a lot of juice, it uses a lot of juice, and you will notice it going dry and the flavor will start to get a little off and then you're gonna put a little more in it. However, if you put too much in there, it's dripping out the air holes now. Okay, I got a funky drip tip on it. It's, there's an adapter between it and the Darwin's arm, so it's basically this part here with that odd out piece, which you know means I can't stick it in a UFS. It doesn't fit inside a drip shield, which would save me the horrible mess I'm having. Um, so no, your use for it may be limited. Me not being a huge dripper, I'm probably going to use it for special juices or special occasions. So to me, for $50, yeah, it, it sounds nice, but unless that lasts for 
several months. Um, I don't know that it's that worth it. Let's try it again. Beautiful flavor. Okay, Vapor. Now let me go to an $8 uh, Cisco Addy on a 3.7 volt IMR. Decent flavor and a whole fog. So, I like the clean taste. I have other things that give me clean taste. I do like my rebuildable atomizers. And why, while a rebuildable atomizer might be twice what this AAVA Addy is, um, at least if the coil breaks, I can get in there and fix it myself, which I can't do with this. So, and this, this lasts for a goodly amount of time, and, you know, maybe then I'll take it apart, and if it, when it dies, I'll do a follow-up, but just in the meantime, I mean, taste nice. If you're really into clean taste and don't care so much about vapor, and you've got the 50 bucks to blow on it, you might want to give it a try, because the flavors are really clean. my look at the uh, ABA.